anything LLM. This is a very cool interface or tool that I encountered a few days ago and I wanted to share it with you guys. So basically anything LLM is an open source, customizable and customizable and feature rich document chatbot that it allows you to add as many knowledge bases or documents as you would like. And then you can just discuss with these documents or these knowledge bases from your backend or maybe better saying locally. And this tool is very valuable, especially for those of you who don't want to mess around with code and don't want any, um, don't have any technical, dev any developed or good technical skills is, is working straight out of the box. It allows you to create embeddings very easily. You just plug in your API keys, add your documents and you're good to go. And obviously you can run it on your local computer. So you have full privacy, which is amazing. Um, the website is useanything.com. You can just download any version based on your operating system. In my case, I download the, vision, the Windows version. It supports, as I said, different type of uh, documents. And let me show you the backend. So basically we come here, this is anything LLM. The installation is very fast and straightforward. This is the interface which you can adjust, but basically you create different workspaces and then you add documents as knowledge bases. And then you just can, you can just easily chat with the documents and with the LLM. First of all, you need to decide, define which LLM do you want to use? So you can use Olama, you can use Claude, you can use obviously OpenAI. Then you define which vector database you would like to use. I just use like their default alternative, which is free and it was one click. You can then define different parameters like the LLM temperature, the general prompt, the chat history that we need to like the amount of messages that we would like to can take into account when we are discussing with the interface. And the next step is adding knowledge bases, which are, can be documents or CSVs or even a website. You just come here, you can drag and drop CSVs, document files, spreadsheet, audio file, whatever, or you can fetch a website. So let's say I want to fetch Um, let's think what I want to fetch. So let's fetch the anything LLM GitHub repository. No, let's let's fetch their website. Okay, add it here. Fetch the website. This is going to create the HTML from the website, and we can move it to the workspace. And over here, we have all the documents that we can chat with. We save and embed. And we're good to go. And now we already have the ability to learn more about, I mean, to use and fetch data from the document. Let me show you an example over here. Um, I added, it also has memory, obviously. I added my website. So my website is ecomxf.com. So this is an example in which I didn't add my website. So I asked it, what is ecomxf.com? So it said, because I'm using OpenAI and OpenAI doesn't know what is an ecomxf. So it said, it appears that ecomxf is a website that sells various products online. Very generic and mostly incorrect. Afterwards, I added my website ecomxf right here, as I showed you, the HTML. I just added here, did like this, www.ecomxf.com, fetch website, I added it here. And then I asked it, what is Ecomxf? And it said, Ecomx Factor is a company offering services like conversion rate optimization, e-commerce coaching, and resources like podcasts, guides, and books to help you improve profitability for online businesses. 
this was very correct. This is precise based on the data from my website. And you can see here the citations. So basically it tells you um, where did it pull the data from? In this case, it was from the embeddings of the website. Afterwards, I created a lead list, a list of leads, a simple spreadsheet, lead number, lead name, and lead value. I downloaded the CSV and I uploaded it here. As you can see, lead spreadsheet.csv. And I asked it, who is my best lead? And it said, based on the provided context, your best lead is Jim with a value of 110K. As you can see here, Jim is the best lead. And then I asked it another question regarding my website, who is the host of the Ecomex Factor podcast, which is my podcast. And it said the host of the Ecomex Factor podcast is Yaron Bin. And yeah, this is pretty much it. What I like here is, by, by the way, you can also clear your chat history and begin a new chat, uh, stuff like this. This is pretty self-explanatory and very straightforward. The fact that I'm sharing this with you is, as I mentioned in the beginning, first of all, you can add as many documents as you would like, and it's very easy and simple to get up and running. And it is also private, so you don't need to upload uh, confidential documents to the cloud. You can just run this locally. And this could be very valuable if you uploaded, if you upload, let's say you have a sales team and you want your customer support reps to be able to um, provide faster responses and assuming you don't automate this. So you can just upload the FAQ and you can upload a guidelines, a file with guidelines and you can upload instructions and then the customer support rep can ask any questions related to the conversation that he is holding with the support, with the client on the front end. And using the FAQ, for example, it will be very fast and very easy for the customer support rep to fetch and create better responses. So this is just an example. Or let's say you have a sales call. So you can uh, upload different guidelines for your scripts and you can add different FAQs, stuff like this, and it would be very easy to get up and running and then communicate with anything LLM in order to provide better response and basically produce better performance. So yes, I guess that's it for today, guys. Anything LLM is a very simple and easy tool to get up and running with uploading knowledge bases to your computer locally, embedding, with one click and just leveraging um, the power of the LLMs with your own knowledge bases. If you enjoyed this video, please obviously subscribe, like the video. And if you have any suggestions, criticism or ideas for new videos, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep on automating.